all right so welcome back to the new module which is installation of virtual center server appliance 6.7 so in last module we covered two points one for deployment of esxi host then we added data stores to esxi host so why we are focusing on esxi host here because whenever you will install virtual center server appliance that's vcsa you need a esxi host where you will deploy that right so uh, whatever resource required for vcsa that should be available on that esxi host so we have uh, in that esxi host let me switch to the console let me show you that what all configuration we have in that host so this is the console of that host which we are going to use for this so it's version 6.7 and cpu 2 6.8 gigahertz cpu we have 16 gb memory and 904 gb data stores we have now so now we are going to install uh, that appliance so here I have downloaded the ISO e ISO media and mounted to this uh, server this is a base machine uh, any Windows machine you can take from where you can install execute the installation uh, here we have this ISO image which I have, we have mounted click on VCSA UI installer Win32 and click on installer file so installer file when you will execute you will get four options over there first is install second is upgrade then migrate and restore so in this module we are going to install a new virtual center server so click on install so when you will click on install it will give you two stages uh, the installation will get complete in two stages and first stage is to deploy the virtual center plans and then second is to set up the virtual set center plans so first we are going to deploy the plans here we do not have any virtual machine you can see but when we'll deploy this it will have one virtual machine as a vcsa click next we have term and condition click accept next and now deployment type again that's embedded psc or external psc so if you'll choose embedded psc then VCS, uh, vCenter and PSC will install on the same server and if you are using our external PSC then VC will be on different and PSC will be on different so here we are choosing uh, the embedded platform service controller so as you know that the PSC platform service controller is a main component of every virtual center so we need we must have the PSC before installing the virtual center click next now give the information of ASXI host so this in ESXi host we are going to use and give a password here click next and make sure that you have DNS entry for all these information click yes it's validating the settings now for ESXi host once it will validate it will give a different console that's virtual center information so here VM name give a name which you want to give to the this VCSA we I'm giving it VI VCSA 67 let me check in DNS entry what is what I gave 01 so I'm going to give a 01 root password click next now deployment size uh, in my lab environment I'm going to use tiny uh, it will support up to 10 ESXi host and 100 virtual machines but if you looking for a larger environment you can go up to 35,000 machines and 2,000 ESXi host so VCSA support entire that and that's integrated with the, the database is also integrated in the VCSA itself click next which data store you want to choose I want to choose this one and you can also have this installation on new vSAN cluster um, but we have only local uh, we have only these shared data stores we are using that one click next so these information uh, I will have to give why it's automatically picking the information because I had initially uh, like uh, before doing this video I had also installed one another uh, virtual center plan so that's picking it up from there only so one if you will install that it will give you blank uh, 
this kind of let me clean this all so it will give you this information so here, here I am giving going to give FQDN VI VCSA 67 hyphen 01 dot V inside dot com IP address 192.168.1.30 dot 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 subnet 255.255.255.0 192.168.1.100 so we have given the network config network uh, information here and just verify that click next verify all the information 30210 yeah click finish now stage one installation has been started and it will take some time to complete this so let's wait for this meanwhile i'll give you some basic information like what all things we have uh, in vspace 6.7 so if i'll talk about the vspace 6.7 it has introduced uh, many new features uh, like uh, securing the platform for hybrid cloud so that's the main focus they have vm has done in this version and uh, simplify and efficient management at scale and we have another feature like another uh, improvement that comprehensive built-in securities so there are a lot of securities in this environment uh, like in 6.7 environment so as we saw that uh, uh, when we were installing that uh, ESXi host that was asking for a complex password but I'll in earlier version of ESXi it was taking a normal password also so that is one of that but there are a lot of other security parameters which has improved in 6.7 and it also support universal application platforms other other highlights we have like it uh, vCenter is uh, is embedded PSC in enhanced link mode and we have VCSA is now default deployment like uh, it's 2x faster in vCenter operations 3x reduction in memory uses x faster drs related operations esxi quick boot single reboot for major version upgrades full fledged html5 based vspare client and it vspare 6.7 supports tpm 2.0 and vm encryption is now more enhanced encryption encrypted vmotion across vcenter and other things what we have enhancement in this so I'm going to pause this video for a moment and uh, once it will complete we will come back. So stage one has been successfully completed now and will continue to stage two now. So in stage one we deployed the plants and you can see that here we didn't have any virtual machine inside this but now if we'll check ESXi host there will be one machine that we give the name and here you can see that one virtual machine we have that's VCSS 67 hyphen 1 so that's a virtual machine which we will use so here we are now on stage 2 stage 1 has been completed now stage 2 for setup virtual center plans click next give the time settings vissso.com I'll uh, create a new SSO domain I created vissso.com join this program click next review the configuration and click on finish so it will start the configuration now it will take some time and it will do the configuration 
again configuration has been started and it will do the uh, setup of, of virtual center uh, virtual center server so it is almost completed now and we'll see for few more minutes and once this installation will get complete i'm so sorry that setup will get complete our v center will be ready to use so here it has been completed now 100 percent completed and uh, here is the first uh, link which you will able to access through where uh, you will be able to access your virtual center so in this module what we did that we deployed a virtual center uh, in different uh, that completed in two stages stage one to deploy vcsc and second to configure so both has been completed now now you can access this link let's see if it works So here you can see that we have two uh, options to start uh, to launch the uh, vCenter. One is vSphere HTML client and another is vSphere web client. So HTML in vSphere 6.7 has been fully functioned. Though earlier it was in beta version but now in starting from 6.7 uh, you can use this uh, HTML web, uh, client. Now let me log into this virtual center console and I'll use SSO credentials. I've entered the credentials now jumping to the console. So here is the first look of this uh, vSpace 6.7 HTML client and here you can see that we have host tab, VM tab, network, data stores, networking and in home you will get different options here you have host, cluster, VM, storage, networking, global inventory, link domain, VVM and other things. So this is the basic console, this is the main console from where you will manage uh, uh, the ESXi host and vSpace environment. So we are going to in next modules we are going to use HTML client now because uh, I feel it very like uh, easy to manage uh, in vSphere it was like a uh, bit slow but this client is very uh, light. So that's all in this module and thanks for watching this. In next module we are going to cover uh, different different uh, topics so please stay in touch. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your time.